Continuing on with part three of what's new in Smart Notebook 11, we're going to look at a new tab that was created. It's called the Add-on tab, which is right over here. It's this little puzzle piece. When you click on it, you notice that there is an activity builder in here. Uh, future plans are to have more things in here, but right now it's the activity builder. What this will allow us to do is build activities similar to this. What it is is we have a noun and a verb, and we select what image we, or what words we want to go where. So swimming being a verb, when we put it over the box and let go, it disappears. Same thing with noun. But let's say we're wrong. So in this case, boy is not a verb. We put it over here. It bounces back. Same thing here. And we continue on. And basically how we create these, and there will be a future video to go into more detail on how to create activities. We run our activity builder. We need to identify an object. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on the noun. And I've identified that as an object. Like I said, we'll talk about this more later. We'll go to edit. And what we do is we pick what objects are right. It goes up here. What objects are wrong. And we can even do some settings. What happens when you get the answer right? What happens when you get it wrong? So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And that's how we build it. So I'm going to go back to the activity, throw a couple of these in here. And another new feature that was added in with this is the reset page feature. So if I were to go, because a lot of times you'll build an activity, and you got to remember before you save that file, you have to close it and reopen it um, so it's back to the way it used to be. Now there's a new feature called Reset Page. It resets the page to the last time it was saved. So if I go to Edit, Reset Page, it's going to say, you sure you want to reset the page? Yes. And it takes it back to the last time it was saved. You'll notice I even changed the name up here at the toolbar, um, or what the name of this slide was, and had not saved it again. Um, so it just sets it back to how it was. One other new feature that was also added in is a web browser. What this is, this is an HTML5 web browser. And what I can do, I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to insert Internet Browser. And you get this page. Just like any other browser, I come down here. I'm going to type in www.smarterclassroom.com and enter. And it takes me to the web page. I can make this browser bigger. Just like the old tables, you had to go two thirds select of the object, make this bigger, or on the same note, I can make it smaller. If I want to make this my home page for this page, so you can set a home page for every browser you have, I'm going to pin the page right here. That's what the pin's for. So no matter where I go to now, oops, I mistyped, should be smart tech.com and if I hit the home button which is the pin with the back arrow I go back to my home button now because this is HTML5 enabled what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Google I'm gonna go to images and let's say I want a cartoon picture of dog And I'm going to make this smaller so we can see this a little better. And let's say I really like this dog and I want to make, I want to bring that into my uh, file. I just click and drag. And there's the dog. And now the dog is an object. Okay, I'm going to grab that dog. I'm going to pull it right out of the browser. And at the same note, let's go back to my home page. And I want to take and make a bunch of this text. I want to pull it on. Same idea. Highlight, drag and drop, and now that text is an object. I can modify it any which way I want. So that concludes this video. We'll go on to the next one here. You'll see the next one here in a minute.